but he's kind of in a tricky position. So he's a pretty good quarterback, but there's negotiations going on about, you know, what's going to go happen with him. Is he going to get paid a bunch of money, or are they going to part ways? And there's a backup quarterback. If a backup quarterback, who's kind of a similar quarterback to him, comes in and plays well, that's not a good thing for Baker. Wow, so we knew he had a shoulder injury, and I think he probably has what's called a slap lesion, or at least that's what he had a couple of, uh, um, a couple of weeks ago um, when it was announced he had a shoulder injury. So a slap lesion is, uh, and this is on his non-throwing shoulder. For those who don't know, he's a quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. So his non-throwing shoulder, his left shoulder, has this injury. Slap lesion is uh, uh, a term that refers to um, a, uh, uh, an injury that occurs to the labrum, right? So the, the shoulder is a ball and socket, right? So the, the, uh, the glenoid, which is the socket, and the humeral head that fills, uh, fits inside it, that's the ball part. Around the glenoid is the labrum, which is kind of cartilage that deepens that socket, makes it much more stable. Okay, this is the humeral head. There's a tendon called the biceps tendon, and one of the tendons of the biceps attaches to that labrum, okay? With a slap lesion, what happens is that superior part of the labrum, and that's why it's called a slap lesion, superior labral anterior posterior tear, that starts to peel back, okay? So it can get a tear, um, or it can get to the point where it completely, it, 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 it completely tears off and you can actually see the biceps attachment. It looks like a little bucket handle almost. Um, I actually have one of these, and these things usually will heal on their own. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. These things can be operated on younger patients. In patients who are middle-aged, like me, uh, these things are either just left on operative, they can sometimes debride them, or they'll oftentimes just cut the biceps tendon, it's called the biceps tenodesis, let it, let it run free uh, so that the pain is gone. Uh, you don't lose that much strength in your biceps, and I'm not playing NFL quarterback anyway, um, uh, but that's not what happened with me. Mine healed, okay, but it hurt like heck for a long time to the point that I had to take ibuprofen before I did surgeries because this shoulder hurt. So, uh, Baker, I think, most likely had a slap lesion. It most likely happened with a shoulder dislocation or subluxation. Dislocation is the joint popping all the way out. Subluxation is the joint popping part of the way out and popping back in. That's what happened to me. I subluxed, came and popped back in. I remember exactly when it happened. Um, uh, you can feel it, and it hurts. Uh, so he still was able to play, and as you see in this, uh, this video here, uh, unfortunately when he was tackled by J.J. Watts, he landed on that left shoulder, completed whatever tear was there, and you can see that's why he's writhing around in pain. J.J. Watts, I gotta say, that guy is a good dude. You saw how he ran over right away to see if he was doing okay, and every... Uh, I don't know, anybody who's played sports <laughs> you can appreciate other people um, getting hurt because you've been hurt before and you don't want to see that happen to anybody. So um, uh, good of him to, uh, uh, to go over and see if, uh, uh, if uh, Baker was doing okay. Sounds like Baker is going to continue to play. Remember, it's his non-throwing arm, but he's kind of in a tricky position. So he's a pretty good quarterback, but there's negotiations going on about you know, what's going to go happen with him? Is he going to get paid a bunch of money? Or are they going to part ways? And there's a backup quarterback. If a backup quarterback, who's kind of a similar quarterback to him, comes in and plays well, that's not a good thing for Baker. So uh, there's some incentive for him to come back and play. That being said, you know, these athletes, and I, especially NFL athletes, I believe that they're playing through pain almost their entire careers. Uh, so uh, it's quite reasonable that this is not going to affect him at all. It's his non-throwing shoulder. Could it affect his play? Well, it depends on how much it hurts, right? So if you, you know, if you take some uh, anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, like I did, um, I didn't feel it, and I was at uh, you know at least while the uh, uh, anti-inflammatories were on board, and I was able to function. Now that's not playing NFL quarterback, but I was operating, and I did fine, and the patients did fine. More importantly. 
And with time, this thing healed up. It did take some physical therapy, strengthening up the shoulder, uh, the muscles around the shoulder that stabilize. Uh, and you know, it rarely ever bothers me uh, uh, anymore. At one point, I was really concerned because it hurt like heck. So I think he's going to play. Uh, he said he's going to play. And I think he will either tough it out and, uh, and uh, do the same kind of good job he's been doing. Um, it's just, thank goodness, this wasn't his throwing shoulder because that would be an issue. He's an athlete. He's a youngish. He's not middle-aged like me. They probably would have repaired it. And most people can return to function uh, after they have a slap um, a lesion repaired. That being said, only about 50 or 60 percent return to the level of play that they had before. So it's lucky this happened to his non-throwing arm. Otherwise, it could have been a really serious issue. Is, he, is it almost? Is it pretty highly likely that he gets this repaired in the offseason? Uh, it depends. You know, like I said, uh, it depends on how bad the tear is. It depends on how much paint he's in. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, it, it could be that this is allowed to just heal on its own. If they do do surgery, he's going to have to, you know, of course, wait for that thing to heal, rehab, uh, and so forth. Um, if the pain, if the, the, the tear is just so complete, the pain is bad enough, they might do a biceps tenodesis, like I said, where they just cut the tendon and let biceps uh, run free. It's a non-throwing arm. He doesn't, does he need that much strength in the, in the left arm? Not really, so that's a possibility.